Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. We are going to see VBScript language. VBScript is the shell language of Microsoft. Like you have Con Shell Script, Bone Shell Script for Unix. This is a shell language. This means you can run this from DOS prompt. Okay. DOS is a shell. In that shell, you can execute a VB script language. The file extension is .vbs. You might have noticed I am using a, a single quote to start with. This is the foremost thing in any language. Single quote is comment in VBScript. So whenever you are writing a comment, you need to use a single quote. Till the end of the line, from that single quote, it is all treated as comment in VBScript. Whenever you are going to save a file in VBScript, especially I am doing it with the notepad, there are powerful editors too. So you can save this as, do not save it as a .txt. What you can do is you can use it as uh, vbs1.vbs. So don't save it as a text file. You store it as a .vbs file. This is a shell language. This is a very, very simple language. OK. Uh, you can say probably simple to learn. Unlike C syntax or C++ syntax, this is not complicated at all. This is very easy to see, read and understand uh, from the script itself. Self-explanatory scripts. As usual, the first thing that we want to show something printing okay so you can use msg box msg box is the basic output statement in vb script because the first thing is always the comment in any language then the input output msg box hello welcome so you you give your message within double quotes within brackets okay now you don't have a semicolon or full stop as a delimiter or the end of the line. The end of the line itself is the delimiter. So you can have only one statement per line. Let us say MSG box. Welcome again. Now let us, we have saved it as vbs1.vbs. Now I am going back to the command prompt. From the command prompt I want to execute, simply give the file name vbs1. I just execute. You can give the vbs1.vbs or just say vbs. Enter. Now you see the message box. Hello, welcome appears. I click OK. Then the second message bo box is appearing here. Welcome again. So the basic output you can see is msg box. The basic input. Suppose I want to comment these two lines. I need to make sure that I give the single quotes in both the places. I want to give a simple user input. In that case, it's very simple. Use input box. Give something. But when I have taken an input from the user, I need to assign it to something. Okay. So I need to have a variable. A variable is a placeholder. So you can simply say v equal to input box of some message, then you say msg box of v. So what happens here is, when this statement executes, when input box is getting executed, it will open up a small dialog box from which user will be given a message saying give something. User will type something, whatever the user types, that will go to this variable. Unlike other languages like C, you don't have to define the variables. You can straight away give a variable and then start using in VBScript. We'll be dealing with variables in subsequent sections also, or the latter part of this lecture. So now I save this. Let us execute this once again. Now see here, when I executed, 
this message gives something that appears over here it is waiting for my input I say uh, open mentor in this text box I click OK so this text open mentor will go to that variable V and then that is getting printed over here through message box so this is the basic stuff input output in VB script now coming to this variable I have used the variable as it is without even definition so you can no need to define variables and now I have used V I never said whether it is an integer variable or a string variable or a date variable I gave a text it assumed it the text format now I execute it once again now I'm going to enter 67 that 67 will be assigned to V so it is very simple so whenever I give something it is treated as, a, as that value and then it is getting assigned to integer or string based on the value we assign there is no need to define variables or its data type one way it is good one way it is bad this is called uh, it's not a strict type checking in VB script okay this type of assuming any data type based on the value you assign is called variant data type it varies based on the input that you give so right now I have used this variable V suppose you want to define or the declare the variable and then start using one of the good practices is at the top of the VB script function you say dim V dim stands for dimension dim stands for de declaring a variable you say dim V still you don't say whether it's a string or number then start using this in the in this version there is no need to dim a variable you can straight away start using it there is one other way that you can force variable declaration if you want to force variable declaration then let me first comment this there is a class called option explicit I declare this class option explicit that means variables must be explicitly declared before their usage I declared I have given this class I commented this or let me delete this I have not given a dim v but I have started using this variable now let us see how it executes now you see here it got the input but when it reached the line number 14 it gave me an error variables undefined v previously it never gave an issue at all because I have not set option explicit now I have set option explicit so it expects variables to be defined if you notice one thing when I executed this this line got executed this portion got executed but only when it tried to assign to this one it was giving uh, a problem let me do one more thing let me uncomment these two I want to show you something now let us go on and execute once again it says hello welcome welcome again it shows this input then it gives the error but if you see here you know this variable V is not declared but still it executes these two lines VB script is interpreter and not a compiler this means it takes line by line and then executes it doesn't produce an exe file so only when it reaches this line and then trying to assign to this V it will give you error till that time it will not give you any errors one way it's good one way it's bad so you need to be really careful just because first hundred lines executed it doesn't mean the hundred and first line will not have an error so you need to be very careful in that now coming back to this option explicit since I have set this option explicit it was giving me a problem V is not defined now I say dim V now I execute it once again message box message box now say uh, 123 I click OK 
this time whatever I have given as an input that has been assigned to the variable v without any problems. So in VB script, one of the good practices is to have option explicit and then declaring the variables so that even a misspelled variable will not pose a problem to you at a later point of time. So the basic commenting is single quotes, file extension is .vbs, msg box is for simple output, input box is for basic input. You can set option explicit and then declare variables, start using the variables. The variables assume variant data types. We will end the session here. We will continue in subsequent sessions. Thank you.